my dear students now we are going to start online classes myself anuradha gupta your computer teacher going to represent class 8 computer book which we are following in our school let's click from friends publication and now we are going to start chapter 1 i repeat it's class 8 computer chapter 1 advanced features of windows 7 let's start with windows explorer it is a unique program that helps us to organize and view files and folders that are stored in various disk drives of a computer system here are the steps to open windows explorer step 1 click on start button step 2 click on all programs option step 3 click on accessories option step 4 click on windows explorer option do you know here is a shortcut to open windows explorer by clicking on windows explorer icon on the task bar next you have to learn about libraries in windows 7 libraries are user defined collection of content it is a type of folder in windows 7 that is used to manage music pictures videos and documents as we open windows explorer it is seen that the libraries folder is selected by default on the left pane double click on the desired library from the right pane to open it do you know we can use the back and the forward buttons located in the menu control bar of windows explorer to go back and forward let's learn how to change the view of files and folders the change in view option in menu control bar has many options to view files and folders and arrange them in different styles as per the choice here are the options to view the files or folders first extra large icons this option is used to display files and folders as extra large icon number 2 large icons This option is used to display files and folders as large icon. Number 3, medium icons. This option is used to display files and folders as medium icon. Number 4, small icons. This option is used to display files and folders as small icon. Number 5, list This option is used to display small icons followed by the list of files and folders. Number 6 details. This option is used to list files and folders including detailed fact about the files. For example, name, type, size and date modified. Number 7 tiles this option is used to display files and folders in the form of icons number 8 content this option is used to display files and folders including facts about their name type and size students if you have desktop or laptop at your home then start practical of this chapter first open windows explorer and then check all the options to view files or folders 
if you don't have desktop or laptop at home then don't worry about it we do practical of this chapter in our school lab next you have to learn how to organize files or folders in windows explorer let's cover this topic in a form of a game do the task listed below on the system and win 10 points for each task first task create one folder on desktop with a name stay home second task make duplicate copy of created folder by using copy paste option third task rename original folder with new name save life fourth task view properties of original folder fifth task move original folder to some other location by using cut paste option sixth task delete original folder seventh task select all files of folders from recycle bin and permanently delete them last task find shortcut keys to perform cut copy paste option i hope you done all the task correctly students now check your score i hope all scored 80 points if not don't disappoint yourself let's learn the task correctly let's start with opening file or folder these are the steps to open a file or a folder step 1 select a folder step 2 click on open option to open all files or folders in a selected folder next how to create a new folder in windows explorer these are the steps to create new folder step 1 select a folder from the left pane step 2 click on new folder option from menu control bar step 3 type a desired name for the folder when new folder icon appear on the right pane next how to rename file or a folder these are the steps to rename a file or a folder step 1 select the file or folder step 2 click on rename option from organize menu step 3 type the required name for the file or a folder next learn how to select all files or folders to select all files or folders click on select all option from organize menu to select non adjacent files or folders randomly hold down control key and click on the desired files next how to delete files or folders these are the steps step 1 select desired files or folders step 2 click on delete option from the organize menu step 3 click on yes to delete files from the delete folder dialog box next how to view properties of file or a folder these are the steps step 1 select a file or folder step 
click on properties option in organize menu next how to move file or a folder from one location to another these are the steps step 1 select desired file or folder step 2 click on cut option from organize menu step 3 select the desired location where file or a folder is to be moved step 4 click on paste option from the organize menu next you have to learn how to copy file or a folder these are the steps step 1 select the required file or a folder to be copied step 2 click on copy option from organize menu step 3 select the new folder location where the file or a folder is to be copied step 4 click on paste option now you have to learn about shortcuts shortcuts are very convenient as we do not require to go to the actual location of a file to access it it is time saving these are the steps to create shortcut on desktop step 1 select a file or folder step 2 click on the file or a folder select send to option step 3 select the desktop create shortcut students please try these steps to create shortcut on desktop on your system learn how to copy data from pen drive to hard disk step 1 insert the pen drive step 2 click on open folder to view files option from the auto play dialog box step 3 select the desired files to be copied right click on the file select copy option step 4 select a location on the hard disk to paste file or files right click on the screen and select paste option step 5 click on safely remove hardware option to remove the pen drive step 6 remove the pen drive after confirmation message appears let's do some more task try to copy any file from pen drive to hard disk next create shortcut of any file or a folder on the desktop cd burning cd burning is a process of copying files to cd or dvd we require these things to burn a cd first a recordable cd drive or dvd drive second a rewritable cd rom number 3 a cd burning software installed on the computer these are the steps to burn a cd step 1 insert cd in cd drive step 2 open cd burning software click on data cd option step 3 click on add button and select the desired files step 4 click on next option step 5 click on burn option step 6 click 
OK button. Here is one more task for you. Find any five latest CD burning software. For your help, one of them is Neuro. Let's find it out rest. Operating system. Operating system is a software that helps you to operate the system through its various functions. It controls and manages the different part of a computer system. Now you have to learn about GUI. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. It is a type of user interface that allows user to interact with electronic devices through graphical icons and visual indicators. For example, it is much easier for a new user to move a file from one directory to another by dragging its icon with mouse. Some GUI operating systems are Microsoft Windows, Apple System 7, Mac OS, Chrome OS, etc. Operating system acts as a manager of a computer. Some popular operating systems are Unix, MS-DOS, Mac OS, MS Windows. Next, you have to learn about MS Windows. It is the most popular software in today's world. Microsoft Corporation USA made this user-friendly system. When we switch on the computer, the operating system gets loaded into the computer's memory. This is known as booting. MS Windows system is widely used by people because of the following reasons. Programs are arranged in different files or folders. It is graphic based. It has icons which helps to do different things quickly. It is very easy to use. Did you know about William Henry Bill Gates? He is a founder of Microsoft Corporation, the first version of Windows operating system was developed in 1983. Now is your turn to write down the following question answers in your notebook. Hope you all understood about Windows Explorer. Thanks for watching. Stay home. Stay safe.